<laughs> Welcome to the cult classic horror show. Every week, you can have the conversations you've always wanted to have about the films you love. Shut up! Get rid of your distractions and prepare yourself. You got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> That was the first time I've yelled. Welcome, at welcome to the Cult Classic Horror Show. <laughs> welcome, folks. Danny Bonin here and Scotty Bonin here. We are the Blood Brothers, Blood Brothers. and the Rob. The Yay. Rob. Rob. So you didn't watch this movie? Yay. No, Look, he did. Okay, did one, you find it? No, no, I legitimately didn't watch this movie, and it wasn't for protest purposes. It was because. Every bootleg copy that I tried to get my hand on, whether it was YouTube or anywhere else, was basically unwatchable. But I did watch enough, and then I actually went Wikipedia and did the synopsis and all that. Was, all there, that was there a copy on YouTube, a shitty one? There was three copies on YouTube. All of them were like an hour and 20 minutes, and but most of them were like after 20 minutes or 15 it would cut to just like a blank screen. I'm like, go to our bootleg ass website to watch it here. Uh, and mm-hmm. I attempted, um, and, but one of them was a decent copy, except the whole thing was close up. So what? it basically was, it was just like a whole movie in. of, yeah. Yeah. So it was just a whole movie of people's noses. Oh. Um, but I mean, I got the, I got the basics of it. I mean, and I, I'll take your word for it. I th- from what I saw, it was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's, I, oh, two is still my favorite. I think, I think it was a haymaker, like let's get one more done yeah. kind of thing. Kind of like what, like the adventures of young Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like, is that a but, thing? Oh, yeah. You've That's never seen thing? the adventures of young Indiana Jones? Is that a series? Yeah, it was. It was a huge what? series. No, I've never even. I've oh, never my even, God. It even had, no. I think, um, oh, what's his name from the Boondock Saints starred in it. Uh, um, Sean, Sean Patrick Flannery played oh, young yeah, Indiana Flannery. Jones. Oh, okay. Really? So you couldn't uh, find it. Don't act like you don't know. You're just doing it. No, just doing I've never it heard of the, all the times. I don't know who Ted I'm, what's I've face. never heard of the Ted young Hardy. tales of Indiana <laughs> and Jones or whatever. The tales of is, young, is that made for TV? Young like this Indiana one was? Jones. Yeah, it was it was it was, or, or cable, it, it was yeah. it was on like in like the early nineties. It was like one wow. big season. Oh, uh, okay. So one season one and done. Yeah, it was it was, who was that? Damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure I it was, look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Patrick Flannery was the star. Oh nice. Huh. I like Sean Patrick Flannery. Well, well. Yeah, Psycho I call four. Sean oh. Patrick Flattery now because he's all chunky. Is, Is he? he? I've never I have to look him up. up. Flattery, yeah, he's, fattery, he or flattery, fattery, fattery, yeah. Fattery. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't age like Daryl from The Walking Dead, who Norman Reedus. Just, yeah, he kind of, kind of stayed in shape and just kept drinking. Is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, Daryl, like, or yeah, yeah, Daryl. Yeah, he just was like, Norman I'm gonna, He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to continue to drink because he's actually like legitimately Irish. I think. Yeah, yeah, he looks like it. Oh, and he vapes. He's got his. He's got like his uh, own line of vape shops. Let's not in talk like, about that in uh, Atlanta. Are you saying? Are you saying that that makes it cool? Because I don't know that he's. Yes, really it makes cool. it completely. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Daryl from the show that I don't even watch or care about See? apparently is very cool. I on a side note, I uh, I may have stopped caring and watching the show. I have it all on my DVR right now. All this whole season recorded. But I just, it feels like a chore now. I don't know if really? I'm even going to watch it. Uh, I think I, all. You just started going that's, downhill. I think that's, yeah. I think that's how The Walking Dead stays on is because they get Nielsen ratings from DVRs. Yeah. And it's like everybody watches the first episode, then the last, and then some important character dies and they go on Facebook and Twitter and they ran about it. And then 
you don't hear shit about that show See, now <laughs> for, like, for, for like for like six months. Yeah. And then boom, you know, all the memes <laughs> will start. I just might. I, mean, st- I don't know. It's there. I don't know if I should watch it. Or I just, never started watching Walking there's just Dead. just so much other shit I want to watch. And, I, and I'm and i becoming less. You know what? So, I know this is a side tangent. And we're talking about Psycho 4. But I just, I, the writing of the show pissed me off so much that I, I, I don't, I can't like watch it anymore. Like they've done too many unforgivable things. They literally, yeah. and it's mainly surrounding when the 12 times anyone had the chance to, um, to kill, what's his name? Uh, Negan. And they didn't. And I was, and it was just stupid. Cause they had like, they were talking like someone had a gun to his head and could have killed him. And you know, he's the one with the bat and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like him. He's um Well he's good. Uh, it's uh Jeffrey he, 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 uh, Jeffrey uh yeah Jeffrey uh, Dean Morgan. Dean Morgan. And I yeah, like yeah, him. He as was an actor, uh yeah. he was in the possession, he was in yeah. some supernatural episodes. Oh, he's thought. great. He's great. He was in Grey's Anatomy. It's just that you want him to die so bad and and there's like 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 many people go on a quest to kill him, and then they come face to face with him holding a gun to his head, and then they just talk for like five minutes until someone gets the better of them from behind or something. I was I was about to say I've never seen this show, yeah. but I I could write it or I could do yeah. it. It's like, <laughs> See, it's like so so they get to Negan right. Yep, <laughs> they get a gun to his head right. Yep, and then he starts to give this epic speech and distract him right. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and then something happens and he doesn't die. Nailed it. So, so Rob was kind of like me. Rob, you were, you were, you like watched little episodes here and there, but you never really started watching the show. I I watched. I remember when it came out. Of course, it was a huge thing. Yeah, that's, and I, that's when I, I watched, watched it. The, I watched the first episode, and at the end of the first episode, or the very beginning of the second, there was that whole thing to where you see his wife and his son are now shacked up with his best friend slash ex cop mm-hmm. partner. Yeah. And I immediately quit watching it. See, that's where it was good. Cause, like, cause, cause it was dark. Well, well, yeah, but also it was like, this is just, but for me, especially when it comes to TV shows, this is an excuse for the writers to buy themselves like 10 episodes that don't count. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? It, they're, they're not going to be all they're in a row. lazy and they don't want to yeah, write. They're, they're not going to, they're not going right to all there. be in a row and they probably won't all be in the first couple of seasons, but there's going to be one of those. You waited all week and then you get the episode and it's just drama, drama, drama. And it's like, okay, cool. I could have just not watched this. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, it, and I, there should be no drama in my zombie movies Yeah, or, or, or TV shows or, or, or anything like that. Save that shit for ER. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't need that. Yeah. And then I think I picked up when they were all in the prison and kind of like what Danny was saying, they're just the, with the writing, they were all in the prison. It's like, oh, yeah, that's stupid. Why would you, why would you go down there or do that? Oh, you're gonna? Oh, okay, so you let some of them in. Cool. Yeah. That works. <laughs> uh, why can't you just sit still? Like, <laughs> like, 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 like this whole show is just full of people with ADD. Yeah. I it's can't. like, just, just sit still, just enjoy the prison. Just sit still. Like, 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 like if you're so antsy that you want to die, you don't want to, well, if we just stay here, we're going to die. Yeah, probably so. But I mean, yeah. if you really want to get it over with, just open the gate and let him go. Yeah. But like, don't, don't let him in through the basement. It's just, it's, 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 it's obnoxious. All that I, shit was fine. I just couldn't stand them not killing me yeah. in the 12th. I just saw it. I just, I can't. Yeah. I just well, watched my, miscellaneous my, my, ones. My, can't from, do from it. what I, from what I can tell with Negan, it's like, Either somebody kill him or just let this dude go crazy. Yeah. We <laughs> you know have, what I mean? We should have a Walking like Dead podcast and uh, at, <laughs> at then, some point. Uh, we should have a Walking Dead podcast and none of us watch any of the episodes. Yeah, and just talk about it just like we're doing now. <laughs> and then, I mean, and then we just discuss it and people, we, I guarantee people be like, yeah, man. Yeah, you're right on the money on yeah. that. You got so oh, they nailed it. It's Even like, though we saw miscellaneous I, episodes. Just, didn't see. I'm just a big <laughs> fan of uh, coming right out and like getting brutal and it's just chalk packed full of dramatic speeches like before shit happens and while shit's happening. You're like, just shut the fuck up and ki- I don't care who you kill. Kill the main guy, kill Rick, kill Daryl or kill Negan, but someone just needs to die and there needs to be way yep. less talking. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I gotcha. need this right now. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I've, had, I've had a really Give shit me death. what I want, please. And, and somebody has to die. <laughs> it's like the best Not ending. Later. 
but the, now it's like the best ending ever is from Equilibrium when Christian Bale walks into the office. Oh, and, and Tay Diggs is sitting go. there. Christian Tay, Bale. Tay Diggs is sitting there. We all there. know Tay Diggs. And he slices his whoop head in half. Is ass. And he's sitting there and he's like, mind the suit. Like, you know, don't get it dirty. And then they're about to fight. And then he just does one move and he slices his head halfway off his head. And then the, the, yeah. the governor is all fucking freaked out. Yeah. That's, that's like the that best shit ever. Badass. badass. Which was a complete and total ripoff. Of a Kevin Costner movie. What? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Speaking of movie, let's Psycho get into Psycho Four. Four the well, beginning. Hold on. What Kevin Costner movie are no, you referring don't, to? Don't even go there. Don't Which even one? go there. Which one? <laughs> Open Range. Oh, God. Oh, but Equilibrium. That's a rip of Equilibrium. Uh, a futuristic society no, but, but uh, led by dictators Kevin where Costner, they suppress Kevin Costner emotions. goes up to the big bad guy in Open Range. It's supposed to be, you know, it's cowboys. There's like 10 of them I've everywhere. I've seen open like, range. Yeah. And he just walks up. He's like, you're the guy that killed my friend. He's like, yeah. And Kevin's like, not today, bitch. Blue. But isn't just, that what he does in, um, uh, uh, criminal too? Yeah. Cause Kevin Costner's a badass. Doesn't he just off the dude right away at the end of criminal? Yeah. Cause, cause well, he he's did, merciless. Does he slice his head in half? First, no, but he shoots first of, all, the same exact. first of all, I, we could look this up, but I think equilibrium came out before open range. Yeah. But the script for open range, I'm sure was written. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Psycho four. All right. Psycho let's, four. Let's, Here we yeah. Go. Let's, let's get on topic okay. here. Psycho four, the beginning. I thought that 1990, uh, when, when everyone, when we learned this was a made for TV movie, I was expecting much less. And so was surprised. I mean, this had like boobers in it and stuff. Yeah, it did. It was it was, was a it, lot better than I thought. Was it made for it was HBO be. or something? Like it, that? Was I mean, oh. it was Showtime. Oh, it was Showtime. It was released. I was about to say because I don't ever remember getting boobers on ABC as a kid. No, no, no. never. So you had uh, you had some nice healthy boobers from a girl that looked too young to be showing her boobers. And yeah, then, she looked like she was like sixteen, fifteen. And maybe. then you had some surprising nice boobers from what's her name? Who is who's from Black Christmas? Uh, that would be uh, Olivia Hussey. Oh, th- yeah. Who Olivia was, Hussey. Uh, the mother. Played Norma. She was also in the 1990s It. Yes. Which had no boobers, which yes. was legitimately made for Was she in It? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, was, I, I uh, talked about that on Black Christmas, too. Yeah, don't you ever listen to Scotty? On Black Christmas, I said she was in It. What is she playing in He's handing down. She played Bill's wife. Yeah. When they're adults. Yes. What? Well, I mean, she would have to be an adult. It she was looked, filmed the same year. She looked a little older. Uh, I mean, Black Christmas was, what, 70? 74? And this is... Uh, or 78? 90 some. So, yeah. This is 1990. So, obviously, she's a lot older. She doesn't look too bad, though. No, she, she looks good. Does a pretty good job. I, I don't I know just, what she looks like now. Her picture on... She, her picture on... Uh, Wikipedia is from 1975. Yeah. So oh, I think she's trying to, nice. And she's 66 <laughs> she's right now. She's trying to hide something. Now she's 66. But yeah, she's probably still just looking old and, and, and crusty a little prime bit. Prime player. Used to be good in their prime. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, she may have got, Argentina. She may have got into, the, into the cocaine. Yeah, you know, you uh, know yeah, 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 yeah. That's why she's so skinny still. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I, I love how the movie opens up with the original score because that was never heard. They did nail the soundtrack. Yeah, that was never heard in uh, Psycho 2 or 3. And uh, so they brought it back for Psycho 4, uh, Bernard Herrmann. Um, so that, that was awesome. And it, it's, some of the sound, creepy sounds and stuff, too, were kind of brought back. So that was kind of nice. I like. Refreshing. I love Anthony Perkins. And I do, too. I love the way he talks. I really didn't like uh, the, the black girl in this, though. But she's another shit, too. What's her name? Oh, her name is CCH Pounder. Exactly. Which, cult classic horror. Cult powder. classic horror. <laughs> we got to get her on the show. Oh. We got to get her on the show. I, you gotta get right <laughs> as I was running down, I'm like, CCH? That's us. Wow. So who knows what it stands for? But yeah, I don't know if we went on the show. Pounder. We'd all get a pounding. I don't know if that's a good or a bad one. I she, love it. She's been, she's been in a lot of oh, movies. Yeah. She yeah. was in the whole ER series. Yeah, she but was what in, am like, I mainly Face thinking Off. of her from? I'm mainly thinking of her from something She was in else. Face Off. I, mean, I got to look her up on IMDb. Well, well, she I played think the, you're mainly thinking of her from... Um, oh, uh, well, she's no, no, recognizable no, no. for her. I, I always remember her from RoboCop 3. That's definitely not That's one not the one. Her. <laughs> well, like you're, so you're too good. You're too good to watch RoboCop. I haven't watched your, any you got, of the RoboCop. You, you got your Mac Air, and you're too stuck up to buy me a MacBook. And you're just you're too good. Yeah, for she was RoboCop. I have not she was watched in Face Off. Any RoboCops in a long time. End of days. Time. She was in End of Days. 
It's end of days. It's probably Avatar orphan. Too. She was an orphan. She's an Avatar. Yeah, she's an Avatar. She plays like the ma- the um, the mama in Avatar. I think Moat. Really? Uh, well, well Moat. But she has her makeup. Maybe it, maybe it was an end of days. Avat- yeah. Ooh, Sons of Anarchy. Okay, that's. Is there an Avatar oh, two? So like yeah, Sons of Anarchy is okay, but RoboCop three. I don't know about the RoboCops. I saw the newer one with what's his name, and it wasn't that. No, orphan? No, 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 no. Do you recognize her from or- from Orphan? Maybe. She was in a Demon Knight. She's got that voice. I mean, she's in. Yeah, she's she does. Got her like resume, like she's working. Oh, oh I'm for at sure, her she's right still here. working. Like <laughs> right now. Yeah, she, like she's billed in 2020 and 2021 for avatars. Avatar two and three, supposedly. I think Jeez. End of Days is what I mainly recognize her from. That's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. So she plays. I mean, some people say that RoboCop three is a great movie too, but apparently it's. Uh, it wasn't just not on I your just, schedule to I watch. I just have not seen... I don't even know if I've ever seen RoboCop 3. I don't know if I've ever seen any RoboCops besides the first one. And no, RoboCop 3 is the, the one where he's got the rocket pack, man, and he flies around. <laughs> Remember we saw the remake at Alamo Drafthouse? Well, uh, in the remake... What? Yeah. Or was that the new one? The newest one? Yeah. Or whatever. We, we went there to see it? Yeah. Why the... Why? With Kathleen. Remember? Why would we have done that? Because it was showing, and it was like five dollar movie night, and we all went. Oh god! Because yeah. they I, serve alcohol. I think, it, I think there. it was alcohol. Or it might have been like just, an older. Y'all, y'all were up there. You just got trashed. Yeah, I didn't get. Or trashed. it might have been like an older, like Elvis cinema or something like that. I think it was Alamo. I don't think it was Alamo. Maybe it was. Just, I think it was just like an older theater that we Robo went to. Robocop. I just, I just the whole thing. I don't really. I don't know. Yeah. She, so so she does have that voice. So she <laughs> she played the. The radio uh, uh, report or the radio announcer host Fran Ambrose, which I don't know about the whole radio thing for the movie. That, it was it was cool. I don't like really, we're doing right now. I don't know if I like it that much because he. I mean, almost like like fifty to sixty percent. No, like eighty percent of the movie. Anthony Perkins is on the phone talking to CCH Pounder, and oh, I just love that name. CCH Pounder. <laughs> I but, can imagine that that's what I guess I did because I didn't get to see much. I got to listen, but it was like really cool voice to really cool voice. Like yeah, she has, she's got a great voice for radio and Anthony Perkins. I don't know if it's so much of his voice or just the way that he talks. Yeah. It's, he, 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 he doesn't sound like Christopher Walken, but he has a way he, like when you hear, when you hear Anthony Perkins, you're like, Oh, it's Anthony Perkins. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Definitely. That's exactly. He has just a, an awkward, awesome way of just how he talks. And it, it, you can totally, um, relate to, uh, Christopher Walken. It's like, it's a voice that stands out, you know, but, uh, but yeah, and that's, this was, so I thought this going back to the old house and the motel, the base motel, I thought this might've been filmed, at the actual spot where they filmed the first three at in the back lot of California, but it actually, they, they recreated it at universal studios, Florida in Orlando just for this movie. So they didn't actually film it. Cause they, obviously they had to make it look since it's the beginning psycho, the beginning it's taken. It's the very beginning. It was taken back in the 1940s, you know, before anything happened. So they had to build everything from scratch cause they didn't want to, you know, re I guess they didn't want to repaint the old, Bates Motel and the old house in California. So they built the whole thing. I wonder the if they facade. really burned it down. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, so it was filmed, uh, it was built in 1988, the facade, Bates Motel and Mansion. And uh, they were created at, at a theme park, theme park in Florida. So, but the production were originally to be filmed before the opening of the park. But due to delays and the studio desire to have high profile production on the lot, the film was shot while the park was open. So this led to tourists being able to watch the filming several scenes at the motel of the house. Hmm. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if you guys, me being a Florida native, knows that was probably a mistake. I know huh? the, the amount of drunken rednecks in like ninety percent humidity and one hundred and twenty degrees outside just sweating Michelob Ultra. Oh, yeah, probably oh, didn't do. To, oh my God! Is that the? Oh, is that the? Is that the house from... Oh, my God. Beverly, come here. Come yeah. here and check this out. There's tons it's a, of... Sh- it's a close... Sure, it's a close... Say, you sir. shut the fuck up. I know my rights. Yeah. Just tons Please, of... Please, we're belly, trying to film, sir. Belly button cheese. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah just sweat. flicking... Cheese cloth. Just, like, digging in the belly button, flicking it out, and then not even nonchalantly just smelling the fingers. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You, not even trying to hide it. Just really You just have to do it. it. Yeah. Yep. 
I don't know if you guys noticed that uh, John Landis played the like radio manager, the station manager. Oh. Um, so that was a cool little thing he did. He was the director of American World oh, yeah, in London. Oh, yeah, he did. John Landis. And Blues Brothers and, uh, you know, a lot of other yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, um, I do see that now. Yeah, the... Uh, the um, he doctor. also was the director of the Thriller music video. Oh. That's what I know him from. The um, the doctor who was on the radio, uh, Warren Frost, was, um, um, what, he's from, like, Twin Peaks. He's from a couple other things, too. But, uh, yeah, and obviously Henry Thomas from Henry E.T. Thomas, E.T., um, who played Elliot and E.T. Elliot! Elliot! Yep, Henry Ouch. Thomas, he, he did pretty good. You know, they, they were thinking about bringing him back, uh, Henry Thomas, for the 1998 remake. Uh, but then Vince Vaughn took it, so too, yeah. bad. Which so, was, too bad Henry Thomas. Yeah, which just really skyrocketed uh, Vince Vaughn and Anne Hayes' career with that steaming pile of dog shit. I bet you could call up CCH Pounder, and, and you know, just because of the name, she'd come sit on your lap, Rob. Yeah. Hey, hey uh, man, I would. That woman, she's so sweet. I would. I couldn't even be rude to her. I, unlike some of the other guests we've had. Yeah, that she's awesome. We're not only rude, but also incredibly boring. Um, <laughs> Be like, hey, CCS Pounder. Yeah, see, Danny laughs because he knows who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, but, um, I mean, she's like a grandma, like a mean grandma. Like, I would have her go over to my house and eat dinner and just watch her strike my children. Yeah. Like, it would be amazing. Yeah, of course. She's like, she's like, a, she's like a black, jazzy uh, female Burt Young. <laughs> I guess so, right? Oh, you know, you know, she drinks liquor straight, and she's chain smoked. So what if like her oh, yeah. and Burt oh, Young chain smoked so much? What if this her movie? and Burt Young were together? Maybe they were. We don't know, man. They would just like, you both know, we be don't know what's battered happened. and bruised at all times. You got to imagine, like if they were on set, and then Burt Young, Burt Young just got finished shaking a woman really hard, and then <laughs> she saw that, and, you know, and and. You can't you can't plan these things, man, and just the sparks fly. You know, I could it's it's pretty it's pretty impressive and lovely, <laughs> just to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, CCH Pounder, would you like to be on the CCH podcast? CCH Pounder. See? That's we a shirt. On. We should get her on. That is a shirt. That's that's <laughs> a shirt. Save that. Bookmark that one. We're so, gonna- <laughs> so made for Showtime. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I didn't realize. That. Yeah, it, it it premiered on Showtime, and and actually, the the reception, um, the premiere had ten million viewers. Um, so they probably could have released it in in theaters. So they thought it was going to be negative since the third one didn't do that great. They thought that this might have had an, have a negative impact as well. So they released it on TV, but um. Probably would have done decent in, in the theaters because I know. think made for TV is uh, is like a misleading term if Showtime did it because now don't channels sponsor movies all oh, the time? Yeah. No? HBO. Like, oh Stars yeah, that was like that was like that whole god awful piece of shit that was the Jeepers Creepers three. It was uh, like yeah. that was the opposite though. Like it's on Amazon and everywhere, and it's put out like it's oh you know it's like you know this limited release or whatever. No, it was like, it, uh, then it turned out after I bashed it, a whole bunch of people were like, dude, don't be so mean. It was the sci-fi movie. I'm like, well, they should keep the shit on the sci-fi channel then. They, they were just being pretentious That cost about me four ninety nine. They should have you know, just been, I, they should have been open with their previews like uh, Phantasm sci-fi 5. Sci-fi channel presents utter piece of garbage. <laughs> was it sci-fi channel presents? I, well, no, it was Sci-Fi Channel did the movie, but they oh. kept their name off it. Oh. See, if they would have just been like Phantasm Five Ravager, when you watched the preview, you knew you were in for a super low budget, yeah. uh, fucking like super shitty effects movie. Mm-hmm. And but you knew that you know Bill Thornberry and Reggie were going to be in it, so you're on board. And Angus Scrim looking like he's 158 years old. Yeah, he's going to die on screen. But we didn't go into it. But thinking see, but it this was serious, yeah, because we didn't see the preview or the trailer for this one, and we went into it. Well, I didn't, I, Psycho Four, Psycho Four. Oh, I didn't yeah. really expect much for it. I'm like, oh, I was pleasantly surprised. It was pretty good. Not as good as two. Probably not as good as three. But but not bad. Not a bad movie. Anthony Perkins, uh, when he first saw the screening, he called it the best of the Psycho sequels. What? Sequels. Well, of course, maybe because he he's getting, he's getting old and senile. He's senile. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's what it, it was. It was the best one. What are we talking yeah. about? 
but but besides, Joseph, yeah. bes- besides the fact that that they got the wrong Tilly sister into yeah, Meg Tilly, I yeah. kind of I kind of like two more than the original. I love uh, two. I think I do too. Honestly, I think I, I love really the original do. Nothing, too, nothing but. against Alfred Hitchcock, but I don't know, man. Two was put together pretty well. That yeah. was a pretty good movie. Yeah. See, and, and Joseph Stefano wrote this, and he wrote the original. And Stefano said he didn't care for uh, two and three as well. And you can totally, he totally did away with the whole Mrs. Spool thing in this. Like, th- there was never a mention of that. Well, there's not a mention of either yeah, of the last two yeah. movies. And uh, yeah, so he took that when he wrote this, he completely phased out the, you know, two and three, and just uh, went from the roots of the first one, which well, is okay. What I want to know is this is sort of an origin story. Excuse me. Uh, An orgy what, what, story. What is uh, yeah orgy story? Um, what is is Bates Motel the series? Because I've never watched it. Yeah. Is that, does it follow along these same lines, or does it just totally forget the fourth one and do its own thing? Yes. Yeah. See, I I never watched the Bates Motel series, and I I know there's five seasons, so I, I'm I'd be uh, curious to 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 see what that is. And the only thing I could tell because I haven't watched the Bates Motel series either is that they really made Norman's mom kind of hot to try to make you okay with like mom on son loving. I think, yeah, you know what I mean? There was like definitely she's, some of she's, that. She's here. not, she's not 80 mm-hmm. in, no. in the base motel thing. She, she's not bad looking at all. So it's kind of like, you know, the studio or the production company's like, look, they're probably going to make out guys. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> we really, you know, we sex sell. So we got to make this hot. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> there was Fil- some uncomfortable action going on in this film. Filming those scenes with with Olivia Hussey and Henry Thomas. I bet you Henry Thomas, I mean, he was probably, what, like 17 or 18. I might maybe, have been older than that. I don't know. Maybe not. And, uh, I mean, he had to, like, rub oil on her legs and, like, go up towards her towards her uh, area there. That and, was water. And, uh, and he had to, like, get in bed with her naked or in with his undies on, which he got out right away because... You obviously could tell he uh, popped an erection right, right, right away. So which there was, which, there was which, which wasn't even in the that wasn't even in the script. That was just a seventeen-year-old kid getting up next to <laughs> Olivia Hussey. But, yeah, pretty much, right? And yeah, she yeah. That, was, that was that was that was film. That was the director Mick Garris being like, "No, no, we're keeping it." And, yeah, Mick I Garris. Mean, Olivia, if uh, you know, if you're feeling something here, we could <laughs> look. It won't make it in the movie. This this will just go in my private collection. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think yeah, everybody, just, every, everybody would like to see Elliot just and, like, uh, and you just bumping uglies. Just like uh, Anthony Perkins has like eight hours of, of Jeff Fahey moving lamps around in his private collection. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe, that's why, maybe, maybe that's why the writer guy, like, you know, like he didn't like part two or three because part two, he knew he missed out on Jennifer Tilly. Yeah. And then like part three was, was Anthony Perkins like, Lurking around the studio at a half naked Jeff Fahey. You know Jeff yeah. Fahey's oh, plat- plastering porno pictures they on did, lampshades. They did that scene. That's that that scene took like three straight days, and and they took all this footage, and they and they only kept you know like two minutes of it, and uh, all the rest of it disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Perkins watched Lawnmower Man and was like, "Well, when I knew him, the hedges weren't trimmed." Ooh. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, can just, I can just picture him for hours and hours, just just Jeff A sitting in the corner with two lamps going. Ooh. Yeah. Anthony ooh, Perkins going ooh. to the side. No, no, no. Ooh. Up, up. Nope. No, up. Oh, over. Nope. Over. I really, I really appreciate oh, nope. this over. opportunity, oh. Mr. Perkins, but I don't. My shoulders um, are killing I, me. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. You do as you're told. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. You do as <laughs> you're told now. That's like, that's how you, you would sound. If you, if you, you listen to you me, you may those. be in a. You, you listen to me, you may be in a movie with Piers Brosnan. Now, I have an in over there with that new lawnmower man thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Now, just, you, know, you just move that lamp a little up and to the right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perkins, like, he, he, like, tries to direct, like, I guess you can see how he's kind of stuck this character, so he probably has a lot to do with the direction. And that's what Mick Garris said. He, uh, he said he was one of the hardest actors to work with because he didn't like the way that he was directed and had his own insight on like every little thing. So actually he wanted Noel black who directed him in pretty poison to direct this film. And they came up with this whole different kind of thing. And, and then, then universal's like, Nope, we got Mick Garris. Joseph Stefano's doing the screenwriting. 
So although Mick Garris loved how the movie turned out, he said that uh, Perkins was like impossible to work with, mm. which, you know, I could kind of see that he kind of is in his ways. And where's Jeff? Yeah. Look. Okay, I want Jeff look. Fahey in the shot. You said Jeff would be here. Look, okay. He won't return we, we, my calls. Uh, look, I understand Anthony, but we're just, we're going to have to, we're going to have to move on from this. Now this is, We've been here for 16 hours a day and the crew is getting tired. I reserved a condo at Epcot for Jeffrey. (laughs) (laughs) For Jeffrey. (laughs) I don't know where he is. We were scheduled to go on the people mover ride at, uh, I don't even know where that's at. Fucking Disney World. I don't know. That's in in Florida. That's, that's, that's universal. We're going to ride up in the globe. So I, I, I was going to propose to him <laughs> on Space Mountain, damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, Jeff. Uh, what's going on here? No. Oh, oh, my Lord God. Above. Speaking of oh. Space Mountain. What is that noise? Sakes. Oh, CCH that's, Pounder. That's the psycho. That means it's time for the horror halftime. halftime. That's the psycho. <laughs> Yeah. The, yep. God, this is just perfect for this series. All right. Uh, we do eventually, eventually we'll do scream, and that'll match up with our outro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Well, there's a lot of stuff in the outro. Uh, so. It's mainly just Skeet Ulrich whining. That's, that's how that that it sort of ends. It's not mainly. You got you got a. Uh, it is like the whole the whole end of it is that that's what the fine the final final of the outro is the is saw you know, and the whole music is uh, a reanimator. So. And it is reanimated, but still, we got Skeet. Look, I'm not going to argue with yeah, you about it. Yeah. I, I, listen, I listen to the podcast, okay? And it's I not Skeet Ulrich. It's, it, isn't it? Uh, oh, it is, is no, it Skeet Ulrich? It is, it okay. is Skeet Ulrich. Yeah. it was Matthew Lillard for a minute. Matthew. No, Ulrich. Matthew Lillard is the guy feeling a little bit woozy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it is know, Skeet. It is Skeet, yeah. All right. Anyway, horror halftime winner. Horror halftime today. winner uh, is a repeat because we just keep getting repeat people. Well, they're good, and we're hitting you. Uh, some good memes. We're hitting each of you guys maybe once a piece again if you keep doing it. But uh, soon we'll move on to new people. Uh, so the winner is David Martin. David DM. Martin. I know you've won. Oh, before. he's a recent winner. Yeah, good man. He's not that recent. Not that he's recent. Recent. He's recent-ish. He's recent ish. He's not like he's not like Aaron Garcia recent. But no, he's no. Recent. that was last week. Or two weeks ago? I forgot. Anyways, yeah. David Martin, um, shoot us a message on the page. Let me, well, I can look it up, but let me know what I sent you already, and we'll send you something different. So Yeah, good meme. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to compete, throw in your memes for next week. Oh, fuck. Dude, I don't even know what we're covering next week yet. We're, we're going to talk about this. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We'll talk about it, and we'll announce it before next Chud. week. Chud. Yes. Chud. We don't Chud. know yet, Rob. Chud. We don't is know. Is Chud a series? No, just, it's that's, not. That's Rob just is a one-off. just throwing out a name that he's heard of before. We could do a one-off. Scream. That's all he's uh, how, doing. How, how, how about we just do Scream, then? Dude. Well, at some point, we've we had a lot of requests for Scream. Squeen. Yeah, but we scream. need to do a <laughs> few let, more let me, let me crush all these fans of Scream. Just give it to me, Danny. We've had a lot of requests. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. These will be two hour podcasts of me just obliterating everything about those god awful movies. All right. And David why Martin, does Drew Barrymore look like she's 40? David Martin, Horror Halftime Freak of the Week. To compete, get your memes in next week for uh, Psycho 4. Put it in the face in the Cult Classic Horror group on Facebook. Use the hashtag Horror Halftime. If you guys can find Psycho 4, which hopefully you can. Yeah. All right. Just buy it on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, you have to order the the DVD or, or Blu-ray. Just, you could you could Google it, find some good. That memes. concludes the horror, horror halftime. Half Anyways, so this is, they I'm all these facts I'm looking at. So it says that that the uh, after they filmed this, the motel and the mansion, the house was completely torn down and dismantled. But then another fact says just the motel was torn down and the house was still there, but now it's dismantled. So who knows what to believe? But I don't think it's there anymore. Well, I never saw any house in Universal Orlando when I was just there the last few but years. But it's on the back lot. And we actually were on the back lot for the haunted houses. Well, if you can call it a back lot at Universal there. I mean, yeah. they have like some employee housing and shit. But when yeah. we, that's where the Ash vs. Evil Dead haunted house was, was way around. You're, back. you're not on the back lot until you smell the mess. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you're hey, on the we back saw, lot. We saw like a workout room and a couple bedrooms. Yeah, a bunch of mobile homes. On our way. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's not the back lot. On our way. Back lots. Behind the Circle K. Oh, yeah. 
That was, that was for you. Okay. It was when we went there for Halloween Horror Nights. They had some of the entrances to the haunted houses. You had to like just walk like walk two forever. miles to get to the like entrance a, out of the park, around back through the alleyway, and then like there. <laughs> that it was is. for the Ash vs Evil yeah. Dead. I was like, gosh, yeah, I'm going by here. the service entrance. It was it was crazy, but it's worth it. Yeah, oh yeah. I wonder why they just didn't film this in the California Universal backlot. I don't know. I mean, the house and, and motel is supposedly still there. Well, Anthony the Perkins mo- wanted to go to sunny yeah. Orlando, Maybe Florida, man. Yeah. He's getting old. He wanted to go down to Florida. He probably has a condo in Orlando. Yeah. That's yeah. probably what it was. Yeah. He probably yeah. stayed at Bill Thornbury's. Uh, uh, no, he stayed house. on his. He's, Bill Thornbury doesn't have a house. He has a houseboat. Oh, yeah. Houseboat. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's like converted, that was built in like the 80s. Boat. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what Bill Thornbury has. That's where he, that's where he keeps all of his uh, discontinued Zima. Yeah, because they're gonna yeah. they're gonna bring it back one day. Oh, uh, he they're he bought cases upon cases so he could yep. just savor them and, and live off them. And he's got like uh, you know two, three or three old ass acoustic guitars down there that he just strums on. He has yeah. them like strategically placed so that when a female comes over. He can just like lean back and pull out a guitar from a nook and cranny. Oh yeah, and be like, yeah. "Oh, what is this? Oh, where did I mean, this you come know from? Any, uh, you know any? You know any hollow notes? <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just, uh, I just need to tune this thing real quick. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me just tune this real quick. <laughs> 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 where would that come from? <laughs> where that come from? I didn't know I knew that. <laughs> My fingers oh, are yeah. moving by themselves. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, you guys know where the name Ed came from? Take a wild guess, because his name's Ed in this. He says his name's Ed to uh, CCH Pounder. Came from the name Ed. Ed uh, Ed. Well, it was well because the original, the author Ed Robert Bloch, uh, based Norman Bates on real life Wisconsin serial killer. Oh, Ed killer. Gein, yeah. Ed Gein. Ed Gein. So that's, that's where right. they got the name Ed. And I think it's Block Robert Block Block. Did I say Bloch? Yes. Well, it, that's, is you don't know. Silent? He could pronounce it. Well, yeah, he could Have say you blotch. ever heard of someone's last name being Blotch? Yeah, Robert Blotch. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> even know. Yeah, that, it's, it's look. You know, I don't know why you should pick on the poor guy's name. I think both of first, you should first, use more first common Danny, sense. First, Danny accru- accuses random actors in Halloween Five of how, having Down syndrome, what? and they. And they ride into the show because you hurt their feelings. I never said Down syndrome. I said like special needs or something you like that. You didn't say it not an ordin- ordin- inordinately. <laughs> inordinately. Inordinately. That's what they say in this movie. Lot. Inordinately. Inordinately. <laughs> I Can can't you say, say an words. amount of. He said it like six times in, the, in this movie. Inordinately. What did you. you inordinately. Couldn't, he couldn't say compilation the other day. Inordinately. I I'm couldn't say it not that. inordinately. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard word. It is a hard word. Did you ever in- so inordinately? It sounds funny when it's coming out of your mouth. How do you spell it? What? How do you spell it? Ooh. Probably like I N O R D I N A T L E Y. Yeah. See, you lost me after like the E-N. third letter. It just doesn't make any sense. You have to say it quick, quick, inordinately. There we go. Yeah, no, it's it's not. It's not there though. Because Norman mean, Bates so talks so weirdly. We talked about Weird. boobers. When he kills that that uh, you know little first teeny bopper, he's like stabbing her. He's just going to town on her shoulder. She has just John over and over. Yeah, again. she has John John Elway teeth. <laughs> she does have John Elway teeth. Yeah. Oh but yeah. God! Now you're picking on like the. Uh, no, nah, anyway, Elway, Elway, like has there's just like El- El- Elway's like a national treasure. Like to Bugs you Bunny teeth. No, if you come to Denver, like every other small business has the John Elway in it. There's Elway's there's restaurant. Elway's restaurant. There's, there's, there's like eighty John Elway dealerships. Yeah, Elway's. It's a great <laughs> it's restaurant. Ridiculous. I've never been to Elway's. Danny, Danny, Danny just they have great like, steak. Doesn't like great football. steak. I just, I just, yeah, I just don't like football. Yeah, well, I'm just you're not missing a, out. I'm just not a big fan of sports in general. So it, unless anyways, it's fighting, unless it's some man on man fucking fighting action. So Norman Bates or woman on women, <laughs> well, or or Norman women Bates stabbing women. John Elway, and none of that fake, shoulder. none of that fake wrestling shit that you like, Rob. Wrestling one is not fake. <laughs> in two, I don't like wrestling. Thank you very wrestling much. Wrestling one I is there? Wrestling love two and three? Wrestling. Oh. All co- no, no, actually, that's one thing I don't. That's one Mankind. thing that's like a, a misconstrued thing with the South. I think I don't know anybody who likes wrestling. Really, it's not a yeah, thing here. It's kind of phased. But out. now I got buddies 
that live all over the place. And a, a whole bunch of them are like up in New York and New Jersey and stuff. And they love wrestling up there. And why so do I, you, I don't, I don't know what it is. And why do you like Alabama so much? You don't even live in Alabama. Oh, all my family's from Tuscaloosa. I mean, we were, it's like, we're five generations deep. My mom was the first person <laughs> still the only person of her family to have left Tuscaloosa, Alabama and moved to Tampa, Florida. And then, so the rest uh, of his family's there right now. I just, Oh yeah. We, I just, we got season tickets. We go up to out, we go up to almost every home game. I mean, nice. I just like, have a we're, major we're troopers, nine hour drive one way to go watch one football game oh, to turn God. around. And Is the home. university in Tuscaloosa? Yep. T- well, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa um, yeah. is on the other side of the state. Okay. <laughs> I just have a major, uh, like, I, I just don't know how, how or why. I just don't understand the whole getting so obsessed with you call the team. We, and you, get, I do and that. You get mad as fuck yeah, when they lose. It's my, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's our I'm, team. I'm that way, man. I just, I've never had to attach- say we, I have invested. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Dude, I, so I invested so much time in like the Rockies, Broncos, and Nuggets. I've never had like a connection to something that deep that has nothing to do with me, and the outcome has nothing to do with me. It's just, feel, it's your I home city. For you it's that it's you your home city, that. your home team. Like, you can do nothing to do anything about it, and you're just like, oh, oh, oh yes, oh, you we can. Didn't do it. Oh, yes, we you do can. It. No, you can't. Oh, you sure can. I can. I, I, oh, okay. I have. I have specific hats for home games, specific <laughs> hats for away games. I have a closet full of jerseys. I'm a jersey addict. Um, I have Alab- I have every year. I understand like, where you're coming from, Rob. Yeah, like like, 20, like 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 we yeah. won the national championship again this year. <laughs> Roll Tide. You could suck at Georgia. I don't think. Anyway, we, I don't think you did anything. I have I have like oh, no, twelve. No, I, I have like I, fifteen I, I, Rockies I, hats. Yep, I have specific, and every year I have to get a new hat. So, like, I got my 2018 hat on order, and of I course. won't wear it of course. until next season. I wore my hat from last season for the championship. There's plenty of things you can do to to, to help the outcome of the game. Yeah. Like, we lost against <laughs> Auburn, but that was my fault. I wasn't wearing my Alabama Nikes. Oh, I was rocking see, some right. regular Nikes. I should have never brought up John Elway. Okay. See, we All went right. in this tangent here. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, he's stabbing her in the shoulder. And but then when it turn, a, when it comes back, the knife is straight in her chest, and all the stab wounds are. And in there's her chest. like seven stab wounds in his in, in her chest. She may have had John Elway teeth, but I w- I would have I would have gotten down. Yeah, I I would have. Because deep down inside, you like John Elway. She had uh, not inordinately. She had uh, <laughs> she had those kind of nipples that just like subtly blend into the rest of the boob. You know what I mean. There's not like a def. There's not I like a, I didn't get. I didn't get to see the boobers. Yeah, but you know what kind I'm talking about. There's like a not. There's not a definite edge or ending to the nipple. It just sort yeah, of like which, yeah, it kind of fades gets, into the boob. Fades underneath. Yeah. So yeah. you're not which quite. Is, you can't pinpoint where the nipple ends and the boob starts. Yeah, which is obnoxious because you need that. You know, you need. Yeah. You need barriers. I just, mm-hmm. I just loved her dialogue. She just like there's fireworks going off, and then she just looks at him. Do fireworks get you hot? And and he's like, uh, 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 do you want to go in the parlor? It was just, it was just perfect awkwardness there. Yeah, she's. But then I thought the I thought the mom I thought that uh, Livy Hussey's boobers were a, lot, were a little bit better. And then you had this whole so you had the doctor as a guest on the radio show, and he was a he was supposed to be the doctor that had uh, like evaluated Norman after the very yeah. like around the first movie after he had murdered what's her name in the shower Janet Lee yeah and and so you know the doctor had evaluated him had known the whole story known the case known that he acted like his mother and thought he was two people mm-hmm. and here they are on this radio show and this doctor's the guest and you know this mysterious ed has called in and they find out from mysterious ed that, that uh, he's talking about how he's killed his mother before, but that his mother made him do it, and that, and that then he killed many other women, um, but it wasn't really him; it was his mother. Mm-hmm. And it, literally, right after the doctor explained who like one of his past patients was, Norman Bates, and so like that happens, it goes back and forth. Like the doctor talks to him a couple times on the on the microphone. It's mm-hmm. like fifteen minutes later, on like it, it, the, they're they're on a break, and the doctor pulls him aside, and he's like, i have just been putting two and two together." And this may be an old patient of mine, Norman Bates. And I was like, yeah. 
<laughs> Obviously. Um, duh. Yeah. You fucking he says, uh, Now he says he has a hotel. He killed his mother. He dressed, <laughs> us, dressed up in his mother's clothes. Like, and the minute. Obviously. Is there anyone like else like that? The minute that, that Ed, quote unquote, said that he killed his mother, but then his mother slash him killed these women. I thought the doctor was going to like lean forward and be like, this is probably Norman. Yeah. This is the guy I was talking about. But no, it was like 15 minutes later after he divulged way more. And they already took like one or two breaks trying to guess. They're like, I don't know who this guy is. And blah, blah, blah. And the doctor was right there. And then it was like the third break. He's like, I, th- I think I'm putting two and two together. It's like, so, <laughs> fucking reason. So, so this is supposed to be the doctor that goes on and on about, uh, Norman at the very end of the 1960s movie. I don't think movie. it's supposed to be. Okay. I, well, I didn't catch that. I just thought it was supposed to be someone that evaluated yeah. him. But I guess it could have been. Because he, in the 1960, his name is Fred Richmond. And then in this one, his name is Leo Richmond. So maybe it's just. Oh, well, it, it could. Richmond. The, and, and in the, in the, sorry. And in the second one, uh, they say that Norman's 12 years old when he kills his mom. And obviously he's not 12 years old in, in this movie. He's a lot older than 12. So that, yeah. that didn't, but maybe, you know, obviously Stefano didn't go with the second one. So he probably said, fuck it. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, you that know, was- number one is the one play psycho because it's so old and the rules hadn't really been established for movie making yet uh, is why I'll let slide the, the like 20 minute explanation of the entire movie at the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That I, I'm only letting it slide because like we already knew all that, and they just added that in there for like the absolute idiots watching mm-hmm. who didn't figure it all out. Because nowadays they know that I think that people hopefully are smarter or watch more, enough movies. Whereas yeah. like like Hell World, they would just it, it was super confusing the entire movie until the last fifteen minutes where Lance Henderson explained it to specific everything. Yeah, oh God, yeah, you guys were <laughs> telling me about that. I missed that. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously we knew it was Norman Bates, and then he gives himself away. He says, and then when the, the real Norman Bates, and then they, they do a close-up on CCH Pounder. <gasps> he just admitted that he's Norman Bates. Yeah. And then that's when... Dr. Loomis would have been all over this. Oh, yeah. It would have been, it would have been like five minutes in, oh, yeah. and Loomis would have been like, Norman, get off the line. We are doing a show on erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I will talk to you later, Norman. <laughs> you, you forgot the pause. It would have been over. You forgot the pause. Oh, yeah. Norman, yeah. get uh, off the... Le- uh, 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 oh. oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. That was, I, I, had a, I had a lot of corn for lunch, and sometimes oh. it stops up the pipes. Oh. <laughs> they, <laughs> they had a detective Loomis in the first one, though, in this movie, didn't they? Wasn't he? Well, that's who. Uh, oh, that was yeah. That's yeah. who Loomis was named after, right? It yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. Because right. John Carpenter yeah. was a fan. John Carpenter was like a fan like, of the, the original Psycho, yeah. and he's John Carpenter. No, it's because John Carpenter was like elbow deep in Jamie Lee Curtis. So, oh yeah, like he got her from because her mom was in Psycho, and then I, I named this character after this movie that your mom was in, mm-hmm. and just. Just, just going like knuckles deep in like eighteen year old, uh, whatever her name is, I Aunt forgot Jan. now. Yeah, there you go. Jamie, Jamie Curtis the one. and Jan. That's right, yeah. Aunt Jan. Yeah. So then just, Norman's mom finds a good old, good old Chet with the lazy Chet. eye. Chet, lazy eye Chet. Lazy eye you, Chet. You probably didn't watch long enough to gloves. see that, huh, Rob? Look, man, it was difficult. I, I, I think, I think I put in. Now, if somebody would have got me a MacBook. And you had How plenty of time helped? to get it sent How to would my that house. Have helped? I don't know. You watched the movie, didn't you? Yeah, I ordered the Blu-ray four disc set. Dude, Look, it's you nice. Mean, you could you could twist the truth around all you want, wow. but the truth of the matter is, twist. Danny twist. wouldn't come off of twenty eight hundred dollars to give me the MacBook Pro that I wanted. I don't well, have twenty eight hundred dollars. Well, we 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 could have recorded the movie on, off the MacBook Pro screen and send it to you. You know what? You should have. We should have just. Skyped, and I could have just faced the computer toward my TV, and we all would have watched, could have watched it yeah. together. We went live like that a couple times. Yeah, but so. there's, but see, I don't have a MacBook, so it's like not, there's like no compatibility. Nah, you would have been. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> but your screen's bigger than I'm Danny's. Gonna, um, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. what is it, like screencast my MacBook to your MacBook from thousands, like a, like hundreds of miles away. I mean, yeah, obviously. I'm just saying. Just saying, I don't think it was an unreasonable request with absolutely no notice 
that you couldn't have, even if you don't have the money, you could have gone into debt a little bit. Oh, I've, like uh, a, no, more into <laughs> debt, right? More into debt. Yep. Uh, so, so, uh, so Norman's pissed that she, the boyfriend with the lazy eyes here now and Chet, good old lazy good old eyes Chet. Chet and that, uh, where, where did he work? He, they, oh, he's a bartender. Yeah, he, he, the mom uh, Norma met her at the at probably the, the local same bar. bar that uh, you know Jeff Fahey he was chilling at trying oh, yeah. to, trying to pick up ugly ass fifty year old reporters. Oh, and speaking of fifty year old balding. Speaking of, 50, I think she was balding. Oh yeah, she wasn't Anyways, that good. Keep going. Speaking of fifty year old, uh, uh, Norman got to make out with the fifty year old. I in, don't know. If she's in this 50. movie, she looked. She was than probably that. like forty, and then uh, Cougar Town, and that was his second kill. Young Henry Thomas, Courtney Cox, Cougar Town. Sorry, yeah. I just hit. Yeah, the... yeah. That, that she's she stars in that. That's right. <laughs> and then that's when the first river, dump, our 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 pond dump, swamp dump of the car. Yeah, but yeah, he's 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 going to the town. I don't know on her, and then he dresses up, and but then we see. We see mom, Chet, and mom stoinking on the bed. And, uh, he poisons their iced tea. Norman poisons the iced tea. But the mom basically is making love to the iced tea for oh, Dude, it. what the fuck was she doing with that cup? I don't even know. She like was dabbing it on her. She like poured some iced tea on her chest. And then she was just like going, mm, uh, like, she like rubbed it on her face yeah. and poured a little more on her chest. Uh, I'm like, oh, you're gonna have to clean that up. Mm. Iced tea in your chest there. And then she finally took a sip. And then they all. And put- I'm not complaining, Rob. I'll watch Olivia Hussey, you know, uh, pour iced tea down her chest and and have an orgasm all and, day. And, and have Norman rub uh, rub oils on her legs. I mean, that's that, that's it's that's water, good stuff. Not oil. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be peach or orange. Or orange flower orange water. Orange flower water. I don't, that, I don't even know what that is. No, yeah, it's it's an orange flower that's dipped in water. No, but What's then, up, honey? but then we see the white shit coming out of their mouths, and they're poisoned. Yeah, and then he he, he lives. Did, they did have a good line though. She said, uh, "Where's Norman with that tea? My throat's so dry, I can't even swallow." And he's like, "Well, we can't have that now, can we?" <laughs> 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 yeah, that was funny. Get get it, Rob. Get it. I'm sorry. My wife walked in and rudely interrupted the show. Oh, oh my God. God. You missed the Son joke. of a you bitch. You missed the joke. No, I got the joke. She's just standing here watching you. You want to say hi? So everybody can. Hi, Savannah. Hello. Scotty said hi. hi. I said hi. hi, too. Danny said hi. Sorry. I said Danny hi first. Said hi I said hi first. I'll have you know it's a lot cuter when my daughter butts in on the show. It is a lot cuter. I don't know. She, she just tries she's to hop in here. up on her lap. She's in here. She's stuff. in here, like lurking around well, me. Does she right have now. a sandwich? Like, I've done something wrong. Does she have a sandwich for you? No, she didn't bring me a drink either. Can I get a oh, ginger ale, Lord. please? One of the fancy Australian ones. You're not supposed to have ginger ale. You're on a diet. Shh. I can have a ginger ale. Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you too busy drinking some like? like I did. Ant- I drank all. My, I, dr- I drank antioxidant all my ant- like fucking yeah. All, all my probiotic, antioxidant, veggie. Oh my god! It's that powder you pour in water and then you stir <laughs> and then you stir the water. Oh yeah, it's rough. I ordered some new stuff that may taste a little bit better. That shit's terrible. Uh, <laughs> hey, I got I'm my. Still light. I got my four thousand calories in the day. I got five thousand yesterday. Is he getting gains yet, Scotty? Uh no, he's still skinny. What? No, oh. no, I, I, I can. I, I, mean, I don't know if I got gains yeah, yet. I can see. I, I can see some veins. Four thousand cows in the day. He's looking pretty good. Had a cheat meal today though. Too. Wednesday is uh, my cheat meal day. One day, one meal well, a week. If, if, if you didn't cheat at all, then you'd be so far ahead right now. Oh, really? He's not quite to my status yet, but right. He'll he'll be there. Scotty's soon. slacking now that he do- goes and doesn't go to the gym with us. He's missing out hey, on the workout. I'm 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 whooping my wife into into shape. Uh, I'm I'm doing the same workout as uh, as you are. I'm following the same I don't know. one. I don't know. I kicked my butt today. I don't know. I did deadlifts and and, and the Zercher squats. The pain in the what butt. Zercher squats? You like put the bar on your <laughs> elbow? And, Zercher yeah. squats. Well, I'll show you if you ever come out here and step foot in a Dang. gym. I am I, not going to the gym. I did with, good today. I'm what? not going to the gym with a semi-retired UFC fighter. Oh shit! I was never <laughs> the UFC. Well, you you whatever mixed martial arts, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> See, you would have beat up Chet. Chet had those okay, boxing I, gloves. I, I, I'll, I'll go to the gym with you if I could drive myself, so I could leave. <laughs> See, I have a feeling that I'll go to gym with both of y'all, or maybe both of y'all and Big Scott, and then I have no way out, and I just get cornered until until like 
I, I have a heart stroke and die. Big Scott's or not. Something. I mean, he's just average. Old, yeah. You know? Yeah. You know? You know. He, he, he just started working out like last, last year or two years ago. I don't know what it was, but anyways, I'm gonna keep going here. Did you like it's like Jonathan yeah. Brindle? Shout out to Jonathan Brindle who got us like motivated us to do the psychos and everything. Like like that dude's this this British guy who runs like five K and all this other stuff like that. I'm yeah, like, I can't, I can't. so far it's behind the curve. I I'm I maybe I can. I mean probably if I practiced a bunch, anyone could, but if with a lot of hard work and dedication, but I just got no desire to run more than like three to four miles when I'm which is what oh, I just do for cardio shit. sometimes. Three to four miles? Yeah, this 5Ks are a little... Well, what do you mean, holy but, shit? But if, but if I was outside running, it, it'd be different. You do cardio at the gym, right? You do like two two to three, and if you're really hitting it, like four miles in like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. It's ridiculous. It's, we have cars. There's no reason. <laughs> well, it's on the yeah, treadmill. Shout, shout out to I Jonathan know, There's Brindle, no reason though. you can like practice. I can't. I just got no desire for the long distance yeah. running. But I, that's that. It takes a, a shout out to Jonathan. I definitely want to give a shout out to Brindle because this uh, series has been awesome to cover. Yes. Well, so. you can't do any long distance running anyway. You're not supposed to be getting trim. No. Well, well you're, I'm you're trying supposed to, to be like what? Like heavy weights, low reps. No, I'm doing clean. I'm doing like a clean bulk as much as I can, though. I'm doing the intermittent fasting, losing some of the fat. Uh, yeah, and I'm doing cardio every day. It's not always running. I did uh, uh, the the row machine today, the rower. Oh yeah, I, I did that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So or, yeah. as your as your as your health advisor, I don't think you should be doing any cardio. Oh. You got to keep the fat trimmed down. You got to keep that. So uh, speaking of cardio, Chet has the boxing gloves, the boyfriend, and uh, he Scotty punches. Doing his best to keep this he on punches track. Norman in the face, and that just gets him so mad. Well, and speaking of Chet, he's a he like is alive again four times. At the oh end of god, the movie. he just won't die at the end. He's huh, what is the movie where that happens? But they're like making fun of it. I can't I can't remember, but he. He comes back to life like four times. Do you yeah. think he's dead? And then Norman's like white shit doing, spewing out of his mouth. He's like, ah, and then Norman like turns his attention to the mom. And then like two minutes later, Chet's sit behind him again. Ah, yeah. yeah. Well, supposedly mom's and, dead. And he, then he drags mom and he down drags the mom downstairs and he's putting her in the chair. In, in the then all chair. of a sudden Chet's behind him again. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, fucking guy won't die. <laughs> and then he finally dies finally on, like on top that. of him. And that's yeah. <laughs> Finally, Chet's dead. And then, then we have this whole homage of him going crazy, and CCH Pounder Ma- says, no, homage. Homage? Or what? Rampage. I meant to say Rampage. rampage. Is it a montage? Montage. montage? We're going to have a montage. But uh, so CCH Pounder tries to talk him out of killing his wife, who's born with his baby, and uh, he's just not going to have it, and takes her to the old house, because he's somewhere suburban California and lives in her house. And he takes her to or meets her at his mom's old house and he's going to kill her. And then he he doesn't she kill her. She should have ran out the door like three oh times. Oh, my God. Yeah. She just skipped the front door. Two or three she goes times. and hides in the house. And I don't know what she was thinking. She uh, she was not attractive. Yeah. She but was, for, for Anthony Perkins, it, it was just about right. Cause she was old. wearing the ultimate mom outfit. Or, yeah. or old lady outfit, not even mom. She was wearing like uh, the uh, long dress with like shoes and like long white socks underneath. It was all baggy. Rob's drinking some. It's some 90s. straight thick ginger beer. Are you drinking? Oh uh, man, Boondaburg, Boondaburg, Australian ginger. He just sent beer. me. He just texted oh, me a picture. Oh yeah, he just that looks good. A picture of it. That looks good. Boondaburg. It's, it's delicious. Australian family owned. Boondaburg, Australia Boondaburg ginger beer. Wow. Um, what? I was going to say fucking say something. Before, so he's burning right? down the house. I forgot. Burning down the house. Yeah. How's that? The How's roof. The roof. The roof is on and fire. The house burns down. We don't need no water. Let this motherfucker, motherfucker burn. burn. Burn, motherfucker. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. Oh, man, the Bloodhound Gang. No. Oh, that's that was a great yeah, band. That is That was Bloodhound Gang and, and Cold, Cold Chamber. Cold Chamber sucks. Yeah. Anyways. Bloodhound Gang is great. I'm not black like Barry White. I'm white like Frank Black is. Oh, yeah. Amazing lyrics. Um, they burn the house down. And he keeps seeing. And it's nighttime, and they're and it's burning down, and his leg's all injured. And, she's, and he's, he, he sees visions of mom. She's helping and, him limp out. And all the people he's killed. And then 
then they like turn around, then they're like turn around and limp down the stairs and it's daytime and all the firefighters are there. And and then they leave. So I don't know if <laughs> if they stayed outside the burning house the rest of the night. They must have sat out there the whole time. And just time. sat there until the firefighters came or if that was literally they just forgot to put a transition from night to day in there and when they turned around it was daytime. Maybe they went there like at they went to the house at like five in the morning. I don't and know. And then the house is burning. Because she and came when she got off work, though. Unless yeah. She has a night shift. There was no way. Yeah. And yeah. they were going to have dinner for his birthday. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was definitely a weird transition there. There was also some uh, one some of those weird, not so subtle throwback lines again. Yeah. Um, and I, I should have wrote them down because I, but I didn't. There was, you know, there was like a mother's uh, boy's best friend is his mother. And yeah. there was a. Uh, and my trusty umbrella. Are you sure that was in the I'm second one? I'm pretty sure. He says, oh, grab well, my the trusty first umbrella. It was in the first one because she gets oh, yeah. out of the car and it's raining. Oh, just let me grab our... They just love grab doing grab my trusty lines. umbrella. Yeah. The third one was just packed full of them. Oh, God, yeah. But speaking yeah, of... Yeah, the third th- one was very reminiscent of like Phantasm 4 or 5. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. I remember. <laughs> Which was just like, yeah, like... Flashback after flashback. Like you, yeah, you, like, you remember these cool scenes yeah. from this other movie we did five, six years ago? <laughs> but in, but in all all the sequels leading up until this, they they had uh, the flashback of the shower scene with Marion Crane, Janet Lee, and this one they did not. This is the only movie they did this not. This one they just had Chet in the shower. Which yeah. he, he gets out, puts the towel on his waist, doesn't dry off one bit, and then just goes to the bed. Just to with her. Yeah. Of course, they did do when he when Tom, when Henry Thomas stabbed Thomas Henry stabbed. <laughs> Uh, the girl, they did the rant, rant, rant during it. So that was a flashback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, overall, it was a good movie, I thought, at the beginning. Yeah, I, I mean, now I own the four-disc Blu-ray set. So woo for me. Yeah, it's a it's a great series. I I, I, I like this one. I liked it better than Hell, than, than Hellraiser. Uh, yeah, I, I did, too. I liked it <laughs> oh, yeah. a lot of things. And Scotty, and Scotty got away with watching the worst of the Hellraisers, too. Yeah, he got. Wait, he did watch the worst, or he didn't? No, no, no. He got away with it. He didn't have to I watch the Lance one. Hendrickson one because he was like hell, wherever hell, he was hell world. skiing in he Hawaii. Did, or he something. did miss the, I missed hell world. the hot muffin top look, though. The, I only missed the one. You know, yeah, which was that. really just like ruining Danny's libido for like two months. Yeah, no, no, no. That's right. Danny likes the muffin top. He doesn't love like the it. high waist. He doesn't like. No, sorry, no doesn't high, like waist. The high waist. I like the whole high. you know low waist with the belly showing. Yeah. Yeah, you got partial the, thong the, showing the navel ring, the little belly button oh, yeah, ring, maybe like the, that. the speed, the white spaghetti straps with the backwards hat, little yeah. limp biscuit girls. Oh yeah. Now, for me, of the course. ass, the ass starts below the hips. It does not start above your belly button. Like the, like some, like it does these days. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, well, it's weird, isn't it? Cause I mean, like we don't even have like cardboard tits or ski slope boobs anymore. Uh, they're all, yeah. they're all being phased out. It's like some horrible form of evolution. I don't know what's happening around here. Anyway, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it though. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. All right, that concludes the Psycho series. God, that was great. I'm gonna have to rewatch these. Oh, well, it's definitely ones you can rewatch. I like to watch the second and and third one again. What I've uh, seen the first one so many times. What you guys? Did you watch anything else this week, Rob? I watched a lot of stuff this week. Oh. Cause, I was so busy finishing up the last bit of the script that I watched like countless amounts of movies to try to try to build up some yeah no some, it's because you were some uh, inspiration. You're on. Look, I was sick. I wasn't sick and lazy. Damn it! I, I think was just when you're sick. sick and you watch movies and you know uh, repeatedly like back to back, then you're sick and lazy. No, no, it's just I was trying to stay conscious because I was on the verge of death. <laughs> just sleep this weekend. I can't sleep. You can't sleep when you're sick. Oh, okay. It's all, it's all uncomfortable. What'd you watch? Oh, fuck. I watched um, Happy Death Day. Oh, which yeah. I need to see that I, still. I've watched it three times now. That movie. Three that times? Movie, oh, no. That movie That movie is my best movie of Did 2017. Did you have to rent it, though? I bought it. I rented it for like three ninety nine. I bought it for like four. I rented it for four ninety nine. I went ahead and paid the fifteen ninety nine or whatever and just bought it. Really? That movie is, well, one, That's it's good. a Bloomhouse movie, so you know it's pretty decent. But no, it's awesome. It's, is it? It's, hmm. it's the perfect, funny, horror, comedy kind of 
kind of thing. And it's just, I don't know. The acting was great. The ending was perfect. Um, there was a couple little twists. I mean, it just was done right. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't overdone. It, I just, to me, that's that. I love it. That movie, well, that, that movie, like it, it 2017, which I did go back and watch after that. Um, I picked up on a lot of stuff I didn't quite catch in the theater. It's, it's very, very, very good movie. Um, but nah, uh, happy death day is hands down without a doubt. Best movie of 2017. I heard good things about it. So what, I definitely uh, what else it. did you watch? I watched unfriended. Oh yeah. yeah I've seen that. that. Seen You've seen that. that a couple times now. No, 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 no. That was, that uh, was, yeah, no, maybe that, that one was called unfriended. This one's called like friends list or it's, a, it's like the same basic thing, except it's about a witch or something. Huh? It just came out. It's, it was trash. It wasn't very uh, good. Not near as good as, as unfriended. Yeah. I think this one, I think this one was called like friends list or something, but it's the same thing. A girl there's a creepy girl at a college. She's got no friends on Facebook. This one girl friends her. She turns into like the ultimate creeper. The girl like disses her and she Mm -hmm. kills herself. But by killing herself, she's now turned herself into a witchy evil demon. And uh, it's just, it's just stupid. Don't waste your time. Don't waste three ninety nine like I did. It's you awful. Rent, you paid for it. Wow, dude! I, dude, I was on a roll, man. I was batting. I mean, I was awesome, dude. I was like two for two with it and Happy Death Day. Uh, so I was like, I'll roll the dice, man. Uh, nope, I didn't. Didn't pay off. Not good. Um, and then I watched Rings. The I, oh yeah, we yeah, saw that. Yeah. I actually kind of liked it. It was, it was good. It, yeah, it was okay. It, it was. It wasn't great. It was Prime. It was free. So that helped. Um, but um, I liked all the actors in it. I was really surprised. They got a lot of pretty good actors in mm-hmm. that movie. They got, what's his name from uh, Roseanne and, um, oh, God. Tom Arnold. Oh, no. That's, that's Tom John Arnold. Goodman. Oh, John Goodman? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, they had, well, one, they had ben, Vincent D'Onofrio, who I love Vincent D'Onofrio. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. And then the other guy, what is it, Johnny Galecki or whatever? Yeah, Johnny Galecki, the guy who was in Roseanne and Big uh, Bang Theory mm-hmm. and okay, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know uh, what you're talking about. Um, no, it was... It was it yep. was a lot better than any of the other sequels. I thought it was pretty. I thought pretty it was pretty good. good. The the whole thing of like passing the tape around in like a secret society, like up yeah, in was, high school okay. or, or whatever, it was still pretty cool. The first though. one's pretty classic, and Naomi Watts is hot in it, so that's you know always a plus. Yeah, but. I just I just always like like Naomi didn't like Naomi Naomi Watts do that and then disappear um, like her career like just left. I don't I don't remember uh, from anything. Else well, she's in King Kong. She's oh yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So she's like, man, she's yeah. she's made her. I didn't know Johnny Galecki was in. I know what she did last summer. Oh, I'm not. I didn't either. Not gonna go. Not gonna go back and watch those shit movies. But what else? It's good to did know. You watch anything else? Um, I tried to watch this new Netflix movie that everybody is talking about on the old, group. the old, uh, the old group there. And if you're not a member, please join. It's obviously free. And pretty active. Cold Everybody's Classic Facebook group. What are you, are you yeah. talking about? Open House? Is that your time? Open about? House. Yeah, I haven't I watched ch- it. I, ch- uh, I mean, it may. Hey, man. Like after thirty minutes, it may just turn into an awesome movie. But I gave it thirty, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm done with this. <laughs> like, yeah. And then I ended up watching Happy Death Day again. Nice. I'll, I'll have to watch me, that. Made me feel good all over. Um, but that's really. Like I said, not, I mean, I really went, really went. I can't believe I, you watched it twice, like in a row almost. I rarely ever. I watched it three times. Dude, rarely ever do I watch movies more than once. Like, I it, watched unless it it's twice been in a one year. Day. I, I watched it twice in one day, and then I watched it again the next day. Twice? In, dude, what the fuck? I, I don't even, dude, I never watch a movie twice unless it. I mean, I'm talking yeah. one, one to five years in between viewing. I, I usually wait maybe, no. maybe a few months if it's that if it's really the, good. The last movie I almost watched John Wick two days, John Wick two two days in a row, and I haven't because I was trying to get Shannon to watch it, and I still want to. The last movie I can think of, I went John to John Wick's pretty badass though. I went to Revenant <laughs> twice in theaters. Yeah, and that was well, like, I saw oh, Revenant twice in theaters. Pilot I saw Star, Inception twice. Have in you theaters. seen it, Rob? Have you seen the Revenant? No. 
well, I'm there not going to see the. Well, you can't judge it I, until you see. I know see, you one can't judge story it. is completely false. That they completely falsified. Every it. story for almost every movie is completely false. Well, obviously not because Wyatt Earp wasn't. It's because oh, y'all want to watch Tombstone, oh, a complete and total falsification of the facts that actually happened. Yeah, you know what they Whereas did? You can watch you know what they did? Herb. They made it entertaining. You can watch the yes, <laughs> they entertained the viewers. That's all I need. Okay. Sometimes the real all, story all is boring. Is Leonardo DiCaprio is not going to get anything out of me. Not even my time. Well, Costner's okay? not going to get anything out of me, so... There you go. He doesn't need to. Coster is. <laughs> uh, that's he's gonna, gonna, That's because he's gonna. He's about to die like tomorrow because he's so old. He's already. He's already won his Oscars. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's got a whole wall full of Oscars, unlike uh, Leo sitting there giving Martin Scorsese hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that you all you watched? Is that it? Oh, I was gonna say. About, I was gonna say about Happy Death Day though. Um, me and Savannah watched it. The panda, my wife. And it's definitely a fun movie, like for Shannon and Liz. Like, it's okay. awesome. I'm gonna have to watch it's it real, like tonight. <laughs> y'all, y'all will watch it two or three times. I'm telling you, it's that good. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I sure. watched um, The Vault. It's on Netflix. It has James Franco in it. Mm. It's about like uh, bank robbers that try that rob this bank, but the vault is like haunted as shit. Ooh, I saw yeah. a preview for that. Is it any good, or um, is James Franco? Horrible piece of shit that he always <laughs> every movie. I don't I don't know one person we have brought up or could bring up that Rob just doesn't hate. He hates everyone besides Costner. That's not true. I don't know one person. No, likes, that's not true. He likes Bill Paxton. I mean, I, every yes, single I love Bill popular Paxton. actor Rob hates. Look, R.I.P. Bill Paxton, but I love Bill Paxton. What's wrong with I like, Franco? I, I, I like Doug Bradley. Franco is... Oh, my God. How could you like Doug Bradley over Frank? Franco is arguably, like, one of the most versatile, best actors. Apparently, he's been raping women like hotcakes. Uh, who so. cares about all that nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even pay attention to tabloids. I'm talking about pure <laughs> acting ability. Oh I don't think God. he has any acting ability. <laughs> No, no. He just he just teams up with Seth Rogen and they get stoned together and make millions of dollars. I think Seth Rogen <laughs> may hey more power to you. That's I think fine. Seth make Rogen money. is who Seth Rogen is because of James Franco. I mean, yeah. it's possible. But anyways, the vault. The, the vault. So he was a serious in the vault. Uh, yeah, it's a horror movie. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess it's worth the watch because it's free on Netflix and uh, it does have. Um, the girl is really. See, you're, not, you're not sitting here singing his praises. The girl James is. Uh, well, you could tell that Frank. <laughs> you could tell that Franco was like the name that they spent a third of the budget on. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but he wasn't in it as much as yeah, the, like as yeah, the lead guy. Exactly, he wasn't the lead, but he was in it, and it was a weird, random thing for him because it's a new movie, and you could tell it was one of those movies where like let's get a name so we get some people to watch it, and they probably spent like a third of the budget on his pay. And Obviously, he, he's hard. He's hard up for money. And then. well, no, he probably and he probably did it for like way cheaper than that's. It happens a lot for these independent productions. Um, but I will say the girl in it is really hot, and her last name's Eastwood, and her first movie she's been in was a Clint Eastwood movie. So I, I'm assuming it's like his daughter or something, if he has one. And they had to class it up somehow. She's like she's pretty hot. She almost looks like a robot, and <laughs> uh, like a Barbie. Yeah, uh, and then the other girls recognizable, but I don't I don't remember what from. So yeah, watch the vault. I also this I did watch uh, Independence Day Resurgence last night, and it was uh, oh sorry. yeah, I've seen that. It was uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's just a whole lot. It was okay. It's less cool now because because now it's twenty years later, and it was just a whole lot more the same of people flying in ships going woo. I got your back. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't even Will Smith, which made it cooler. It was like Liam Hemsworth and. This Will Smith's uh, quote unquote son, not Jaden, not his actual son, his like son for in the movie, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then you just yeah, Will, Will Will Smith didn't need the money that bad. No, you know they went to him too. Oh, you you know, I, I wonder how much money they actually offered him because yeah. it didn't take much to get Bill Pullman. No. I know for sure Bill Pullman's not busy or Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, no, he's doing no, his Jeff apartment Go- I, commercials. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum's just weird, though. Jeff Goldblum, I don't think he has money problems. I just think Jeff was like, yeah, sounds great. 
Yeah. Let's do it now. Yeah. Aliens? Mm, oh, I love the aliens. Independence Day? Uh, let's um, do Independence Day. And it did. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure oh, it's how Independence Day? Uh, that's, uh, movies. That sounds, uh, that sounds familiar. Um, <laughs> um, dinosaurs? I'm getting dinosaurs. No, <laughs> Jeff. No, 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 not dinosaurs. No, no this isn't mm, Steven Spielberg. No, it's not. Mm. Mm. Oh, so you guys, uh, you guys dig up dinosaurs? Have you seen that video? Have you seen that video of the beat? The looped? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) If if any of you listeners have not, you need to look up, uh, like, I don't even know what you searched. Jeff Goldblum Jurassic Park remix or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When he's on the helicopter. and yeah. uh, Surprisingly, though, that movie, I had to do a double take and look it up on IMDb before I believed it. The, like, lead... Uh, daughter girl in it is the same girl from It Follows. Oh. No. Yeah. The, the main girl in It Follows is also the pres- Bill Pullman's daughter in Independence Day. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, well, so she, she's had an incredible career. She sort of made a big, well, I mean, she sort of made a big jump from It Follows to Independence Day resurgence. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's true because there's a lot of stuff. I mean, it definitely is a move in the right direction despite what you feel. I liked it. Independence Day resurgence was it follows was terrible. No, I liked it. Follows. I, I thought it was awesome. A I, fucking stupid I liked it too. clamshell. Oh, okay. Oh, stupid okay, yeah. clamshell. The clamshell reader. reader was dumb, but that's it. Yeah. That's all, that's yeah. It. Yeah. I that's can agree enough. with you on that. Doesn't that distract you? <laughs> Doesn't that just drive no. you absolutely insane? What drives me, creeps me the fuck out is like, I think the concept was creepy as fuck. Like at all times, at any given time, something is coming for you. Like all the time. That's mm-hmm. true, but they could have got rid of it. Like she just swims out to the boat and has like a train ran on her and like doesn't even leave a post-it note to these guys. Like, hey, this thing will be coming for you. You need to like pass it along. Well, it's going to come right back. That's because they just ran a train on her and she doesn't, she hates them now. And like, fuck well, you guys. She just went and fucked someone else real quick. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, it's, anything it's, else? I don't, didn't um, you watch that uh, the movie um, with Hebert in it? Yeah, didn't we talk about that last week? Ghost House. Oh, yeah, we did. Was that last week? Didn't yeah. we talk about that last week? Or did we? Did uh, we not? I, I think I think we recommended a watch. I don't think, I, oh, I don't think you said. Well, it. I watched it. I watched Ghost House. You watched Ghost House that had that stars. Um, well, Hebert. It also stars uh, Russell Joffrey Banks, who we mm-hmm. interviewed about his. Uh, like title role movie, Who's Watching Oliver, which yes. is fucked up and coming out soon. But he stars in uh, Ghost House, which is on Netflix right now, which is all right. It's sort of like your generic ghost story movie and generic effects, mm-hmm. but um, they do a good job acting and it, it's, it's like worth it. It's a, a creepy Japanese thing, though. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, but it's not super Japanese, but it, but it is. Yeah. But it's pretty but it's, good. It was good. Yeah. Did you watch it too? Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched it. Um, Russell... Russell Jeffrey, Joffrey or whatever Jeffrey put Banks. that put that put that dude in a sweet chokehold in the air. I know he did. I was, I was digging it. He was like, yeah. "Go to sleep, bitch. Go to sleep." <laughs> it was awesome. So yeah, I, I didn't it. get to watch anything this week, guys. It was good. I'm I'm just I'm. You I'm, don't watch anything I'm anyway. Slacking. I watched Inception too. No, dream I, within a dream I actually within a dream. did watch an episode of American, American Horror Story because we're trying to get caught back up on that. You know, so. you know we talk so much about so you, you talk but it's about not a movie. Don't, you talk about don't you don't you don't repeat watch movies and there you are just just watching these Leo movies over and over. Me, again. I I put on this is what happened. We, it was during the day and at my house movies. TV isn't on during the day. We don't watch TV or movies during the day. It has to, for me. I feel weird. It has to be dark out to watch a movie. And uh, I had just finished the script, and I was like, I do not feel like working right now. I finished the script, and Shannon's like, let's just throw on a movie. And I was like, well, but I don't really want to focus on a movie. It's the middle of the day. I want to. Do, I got a couple other things to do. And so she's like, well, just throw on some. She's like, throw on Interstellar. Like we have it. We've seen it a few times. I was like, well, we just sort of caught some of it. And I was looking, and then I I looked down on my DVD, my Blu-ray shelf, and Rob, you need to buy me some actual like big shelving units. Cause right now they're all packed in my entertainment stand. So you can't even see all the movies I have. You know what I mean? Like there's, they're in layers. Mm-hmm. Look, you said, look, that MacBook shows up <laughs> on my door. I will, I will have Amazon deliver multiple shelving units. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was looking in there. I was like, ah, here, just throw an inception. I didn't even know. I didn't even know we had this movie. You even own I it. I bought that for you. you even yeah, oh. Scotty bought it for me. He's pushing Leo on me. Yeah. 
Well, that that's a great movie, though. It was. Good. It's got Ted Hardy in it. It's got Ted Hardy. It's got <laughs> Gordon Levitt, and I always forget it has Ellen Page. That, that Ellen was like Page. a huge jump for her. She's she was used to doing all these shitty indie movies, and all of a sudden she's in Inception. Yeah, it's well, got it went from it's, it's shitty got, indie movies to shitty Leonardo. It's got movies. Tom Berenger, and it's got that other Rob, guy. You already admitted you like Tom Hardy because of his epic beard and tattoos. No, I found out that the dude, the dude is straight Viking and I give, I give mad props to any, any sweet beards. And I did watch some video clips from UFC fighter movie that he oh, yeah, did warrior with Joel Edgerton. Is that the one where yeah. he like gets in the sparring yeah. ring? And yeah. He's spar he fucks the dude with up. like, with like the pretty boy. Yep, yep. And he was just like clackety clack. You know, that was yep. pretty cool. I did drunk, but drunk Nick still- Nolte's in that too. That's a good movie. Oh, you guys should all watch it. Drunk I should watch. I'll watch that over Inception. You should watch That's Warrior. And Inception I also need has. To watch Inception always has the great legendary Cillian Murphy. Yeah, in it. Cillian Murphy's in it too. I watch Twenty Eight Days Later if I want to watch Cillian. You Murphy. know you love Cillian Murphy. He's fucking. Look, awesome. if I want to watch a movie like Inception, I'll just watch Time Cop with John Claude Van Damme, and I'll be <laughs> happier for it. I did. I did find myself chuckling. When they were like literally, because we always joke about dream within a dream within a dream, and literally in Inception they were like dream within a dream within a dream. I was like, uh, and then, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Sort of funny. <laughs> yep, that's then where Bill it came Thornberry from. popped out with a case of Zima. <laughs> yeah. I told you, I told you what it was. I told you I'd be here. I've been down here for fifty years. It's only been five <laughs> seconds in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys want to party? <laughs> oh oh my goodness. Anyways, yeah, let's wrap this up. All right, we've been, let's wrap we've it been up. talking psycho. about not psycho for 30 minutes now. Yes. So you guys uh, join us next week. We'll announce what we'll be covering um, a few days before at least. And uh, uh, horror halftime memes, get those in. Follow us uh, at Danny Bonin, at Scotty Bonin, at, uh, well, depending on where you follow Rob, it's at uh, uh, the Rob O'Neill on Twitter or the, or the Rob CCH podcast, right, on Instagram. The Rob underscore CCH, CCH podcast. podcast. I changed yes. my Instagram handle to try to make it easier. It was not easier. You need to make it the same on all three. Oh, and you could also, you could also Google me and I'm on IMDB now. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. Google all of us on all IMDB us. We're all on and look IMDb. us up once a day because that'll keep our star rating. Yep, star up rating. There. <laughs> and, you'll, uh, you'll see my picture. Cause I got the guns going. Yeah. He's in my CCH shirt. CCH Danny, shirt. Danny's accusing me of gun fluffage, <laughs> which is not the case at all. That's just my natural stance. Uh, I'm, yes. I'm a very stern looking person. Well, follow us at CC horror on Twitter at cold classic horror on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, that, that wraps her up. So thanks for joining us guys. Thanks guys. We'll catch you next week. Later. Laters. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. <laughs> There will be blood.